The story of Dhrupad actually is a very big canvas and focusing on all the parameters, all the aspects of this music requires a lot of elaboration. But I try to put it in a nutshell. Now, the, when we begin the story of Dhrupad, the first question that arises in our mind is, what is Dhrupad? How do you associate this in the context of Indian classical music? And when we talk of Indian classical music, the canvas goes into raga. So, what is Drupad? Now, to put it very briefly, it is the most revered, austere, ancient, profound musical system of India. It is very revered because Drupad is the kind of music that connects us to the lifeline of Indian classical music. So understanding Dhrupad or Dhruvapada is not just understanding the genre or the style of rendering Dhrupad. It is also understanding what music is and how music resonates life. That is very important. When my Guruji started to teach me, he said, don't bother about thinking what is Drupad. Just delve into the sound. Take a plunge. So that is the beauty of this music. In fact, any music of this country, when I'm talking of Marga Sangeeta, the music that is uh, classical in the sense of Margi, Marga is also the way. Marga is also search, searching something. And this searching is a lifelong process. And we have to begin somewhere and anyone can begin at any point in life. That is the joy and spirit of Indian classical music that we can start at any point and anyone from any age group can start the point is the involvement, the dedication, and the sheer joy of enjoying the music and creating and doing the music. So that is a lifelong process. So when I say Dhrupad or Dhruvapada, it is also, in fact, in Bengal, we say Dhrupadi. Dhrupadi is another synonym of classical any classical, it could be painting, it could be just a beautiful sari, Drupadi sari, Drupadi painting. If you see, even in the colloquial language, the word Drupadi is used as inherent classicism. It represents inherent classicism. So that this is the point where you have to start to understand Drupad. So I always say, don't bother about banging your head on the style and you know getting into a very serious kind of execution of the the music coming out of that just plunge into the music and when we say music it is swara tal and pada the three main components that is very important swar hai tal hai aur pad hai guru ji kehte the and these are the three main components. In fact, Sage Bharata in the second century BC, in the Nata Shastra, when he defines music, because in those times music was Gandharva. Gandharva is a broad name for any singing. And so it is also Gan, it is also the specific Gana that is Marga Sangi or Margi. So that was the purpose of uh, Gandharva and he says, Gandharvam Trividam Vidya Swaratala Padatmakam. What is Gandharva? It is the component 
or it is a melodic matrix of swara the tone tal the beat and pada the verse of the song text and in fact this is the point where we come into raga now the word raga came much later in the 7th century AD when matanga was the first to define matanga muni who wrote the brihad deshi was the first to talk about raga before the, the, we never talked about raga it was gandharva it was the jati gan that that is very similar to what followed after as raga and to understand raga also it's not so easy to define raga today we have oversimplified the system of raga in the 20th century but if you really go deeper into the musical studies into the musicological uh, uh, texts uh, you have to delve deeper into the shastra into the theory of music and i always say bina shastra ke prayog adhura hai bina prayog ke shastra khandit hai without shastra or without theory practice is incomplete and without prayog also shastra is incomplete without shastra prayog is broken so this is how you have to understand theory and practice together in fact that is the spirit of indian culture any vidya has a kala vidya and kala they go together any indian musical classical genres the key note of that particular concept is raga raga is the nucleus i would rather say of swara tal and pada so if you have to understand swara tal and pada you have to understand the system of raga now why dhrupad is i always say a complete system because today if you look into all the genres dhrupad has been the springboard the lifeline because from dhrupad evolves khayal and thumri and all the later genres and they have taken all the beautiful aspects of dhrupad and then became an independent system before it was a subsystem of dhrupad now it is an independent system so i always say dhrupad is a springboard where the, the divers use a springboard before taking a dive and then they have an independent way to represent themselves or to express themselves so dhrupad is a beautiful springboard and in fact why i say a springboard because even to understand the ancient system of indian classical music you have to understand dhrupad and not only the music of india but also south asia far east asia the middle east because the raga system is really a beautiful canvas where you explore the melody completely it is a complete uh, exposition of the melody and when we are exposing the melody the two other components that support melody is the tala and the pada they are supporting elements they are the, not the main elements so sur is the first priority and that what supports sura is tala and pada so uh, when you read the text you will see that tal and pada is uh, actually supporting and it is called uparanjana that which uh, makes the sur more appreciated appreciated more that is the beauty of tal and pada supporting the sur so bharata always says that pada is for supporting the melody and he says padastu swara sangata talastu sumitastata what is pada it is for swara sangata now i am really going into the the core elements because i think anyone can understand when you start the music any sound when you are uttering Uh, why i always say dhrupad is so universal why it is a system 
as soon as you pronounce something whether you talk or whether you sing you need a syllable and you need it a sound you need swara and you need varna they go together they are inseparable you cannot separate varna from swara swara from the uh, varna varna from the swara ah 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 so i have the sound and i have the syllable a ah. the a ah is holding the the note ga a ah. then you can have any syllables na re no re na even when we are talking talking i talk i talk so there are syllables all the time actually there there is really no difference between what you are speaking and what you are singing speak singing is only an extension of what you speak so the vak tatva enters into the nada tatva and this is the entire journey of indian music in trying to understand how we combine swara taal and pada now between the syllables what happens there is rest there is vishanti today it is really surprising that the new generation doesn't want to understand silence we are forgetting silence but i think the day we start to understand silence you will start to understand not only music but also the resonance in life the discipline so music teaches you also anushasan music one word for music is discipline so you become a very good human being it is a therapy today we talk of sound therapy and this therapy and that therapy but i feel as soon as you start to sing the sound it heals you it nourishes you it protects you it it makes it gives you immense joy so this immensity of getting the joy out of the sound is the purpose of drupad not only drupad i think any good music will go into that realm but drupad is a very big canvas because if you see our indian tradition what is beautiful about indian tradition is we don't have to talk about tradition innovation and contemporary and this and that because tradition allows you to innovate all the time every moment is an innovation i sing the same raga today i am innovating that is the beauty of indian music you are innovating all the time our seers also said that on many in many occasions they speak about innovation how you can progress how you can uh extend it how you can multiply it In fact in the Vedic tradition also they talk about the satyam ritam and brihat what is the purpose of veda satyam truth ritam the right brihat the vast i think that explains everything and in fact when you go into the realm of drupad it is exactly the, what we are following the vedic principles are there it's there and then we keep on extending and we keep on uh, finding innumerable avenues of exploring ourselves and that gives birth to several dimensions several genres that came in the later uh, part of the indian musical system but they are all coming from the vedic system and then we have the agama the the tantra the agama the nigama and the agama then they went together and then we we the several philosophies developed 
from all this. Anyway, that's another story of the philosophy of music. But again, coming back to why I said this is Margi, this is going into the realm of immense creativity, the vast. So, Raga allows you to explore beautifully, gradually unfolding the Raga, unfolding the melody. And when you say Dhrupad, Dhrupad is not just Dhruva Pada where we have uh, this, uh, the several parts of the song. It could be two parts, Thai and Antara, or it could be the four parts, Thai, Antara, Sanchari, Abhog. No, that is only Dhrupad as a lyrical tradition. But why are we forgetting Dhrupad as a musical tradition? First, it is a musical tradition. Then lyrics is for extending it, for getting more joy out of it that we take the poetry and we sing it. That is one aspect, the Pada aspect. But there is the Swara and Tala aspect. That is a huge uh, dimension of Dhrupad, of Indian classical music that we are exploring all the time. So that is the main purpose, Sur and Lai. I think that the entire universe of music is Sur and Lai. Suppose you don't have Pada, still I can go on. So we have this beautiful concept of Alap. So I always say when we talk about Drupad, don't say just Drupad, say Alap and Drupad. It's very important. That gives you the entire canvas. And You'll be surprised even in Bengal today, we'd say, Ki bhalo alapia. There were people like that today. Unfortunately, we don't have that kind of shrota. Actually, bhalo alapia. A good a person who really is a master of alap. And alap is itself a genre. And then the Drupad has taken that as an integral part of the Drupad system. So alap got infused into Drupad as a total system of Alap and Drupad. And then from the Drupad follows the Laikari, that is also Alap, an extension of Alap. Alap doesn't mean that you only explore the Suran Lai without the rhythm. It is, it's not just Atali. Even the, the Laikari that follows, all the improvisations that follows after Alap is also Alapti. The word alapti is used in Sanskrit, and there are two kinds of alapti: ragalapti and rupak alapti. Ragalapti is exploring the entire dimension of alap without the song. I think that's the most beautiful aspect of exploring the amurtha. Amurtha is the abstract, the unpredictable, and from the Murtha to the Amurtha. So it is exploring the Amurtha, uh, my Guruji used to say, Amurthan ki sadhana, Amurthan ki upasana. Ye Dhrupad ki visheshta hai, pehle, aur wo alap mein hi siddh hota hai. Aur Guruji kehte thai ki ye jo Amurthan ki upasana hai, kyu hum surtal lai mein, uska koi prayojan nahi hai. There is no purpose. If you say, what, why do we do Alap? There is no why, there is no how. That is for the sake of learning. But the purpose is to be purposeless. We, we say in the Gita also, Ahetuki Karma. It is Ahetuki, without any purpose. Why we do the Karma? Why the actions? Uh, only for the joy of doing it, for the sake of doing it. Music for the sake of music. Swara for the sake of Swara, Tal for the sake of Tala. When he plays the Pakauj, it is Tal for the sake of Tala. He's getting immense joy out of it through the exposition. If someone recites the poetry, there is immense joy in that. If you are just singing a Bollywood song, Lataji, so beautiful, you see that perfection is important. So Margi doesn't mean that Margi is also this perfection a sound that can really take you beyond 
the existential into the realm of i say the essential or the spiritual or the mystical whatever it is because that is pure joy pure bliss and when you hear an alap i think the new generation will have to understand between the syllables the rest is so important gama pada ma pa gama gama ma gama pada ma pa gama ma gama dhala pada ma pa gama ma this is only skill ga ma da da ga pa ma ga ma now what what did you feel ga ma da da pa ma ga ma very formal grammatically 100% but aesthetically a big zero because i am not enjoying the silence you have to enjoy the 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 sura enjoy the vishranti also because that vishanti gives you the space the rhythm also ga ma dha da pa ga ma dha da now it becomes a raga why it becomes a raga you see they are all intertwined the melody the rhythm the syllables the raga and what comes out of that is nada finally the nada we are enjoying the nada we are not enjoying the, the formal aspect of tal the formal aspect of sur no you have to go beyond and bharata says very clearly what is the purpose of gandharva for adrishta for the unseen that which is unpredictable even i don't know when i re re la re na la no na tonal precision a sound which is unornamented अनलंकृत कोई अलंकार नहीं उसमें इट्स नॉट इजी बिकॉज माई गुरु जी इज टू से स्वर का वर्णन करो दिस इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट टूडे पीपल सिंग पीपल डोंट डिस्क्राइब दे डोंट ट्राई टू डिस्क्राइब दे वॉन्ट टू शो जस्ट द स्किल एंड स्पीड वर्णन करो इट्स नॉट इजी इट टूक मी फिफ्टी ईयर्स टू अंडरस्टैंड what is vannan karo if i would have done re ra ra na na no ta ra ra na te ta ra na di ra ra na te ta ra na ra na na that's terrible my guru ji will throw me out ye kya ho raha hai vannan ka hai re ra ra na na shashtang vad daivat how the daivat should be the dha should be hum pranam karte hain shashtang apni devta ka aaradhana hai ye upasana hai music is upasana dhrupad is upasana dhrupad is not entertainment wo vinod ke liye nahi hai shobha ke liye hai again i am using very beautiful terminologies they are aesthetic terms shobha and vinod to understand indian art you have to understand what is shobha what is vinod first first level then going into the rasa that's another story rasa is more in the context of natya and 
Kavya. But in music, it's abstract. The most abstract realm of sound and rhythm. And Dhrupad really is, a, I feel, the widest canvas. And that is why Khayal and Tumri could take the elements, churn out the elements from Dhrupad. How Vilambit Khayal evolved from Dhrupad, from slow alap. And uh, only the thing is they, they don't have a system of exploring the raga without the tal. But Dhrupad really is a canvas where you need nothing, only the tanpura and you and your suit. That's all. So that's, that's, that's a very beautiful step to go into Dhrupad. I would advise all the new generation can first take a step, just sur. And my guru used to say, beta sur lagao, digambar swar lagao. Kharaj bharo. Kharaj bharo means early morning practice. This is very, very important. Get up before sunrise and just explore with full breath all the sura. It's a beautiful journey. And you, you don't have to worry about what is happening to you because you will see a transformation yourself. The problem today is we want to sing today and want an answer tomorrow. This is all for the new generation. So Dhrupad also allows you to restrain yourself. This element of restraint this element of discipline is so important today in the 21st century because we all want to run, but stop running. You see, today people, where does people clap? You, I'm, I'm shocked sometimes when there is utter speed. That's noise actually, it's the, and it's, that's the easiest part. But I, I don't know, it's, it's that maybe they, they are addicted to that. It's some kind of addiction to that speed. But I always say you never clap when koi badhiya sur laga diya. Wahan koi daad dene wala nahi hai. There is no one to appreciate. Once I was, I was working with children and you know they clapped in a chota khayal where someone took a very fast stand. I said this boy was doing a beautiful sur in the alap. No one clapped or no one said wah wah. You see, we have to educate the audience first and I think why I say Dhrupad because Dhrupad has such a big canvas the widest canvas where you can explore Sur, Tal and Pada completely because Alap is entering into the realm of Sur and Lai and then Dhruva Pada goes into the total dimension of Pada so you can also evolve a pedagogy with any group that wants to study Dhrupad. Give them the input very slowly. Just let them enjoy first just the Digambar Swar, you know, and let them go into the voice culture. They will themselves start to enjoy when they, they would be able to sing every notes properly. And when you start to sing every notes properly, you will. Uh, you'll see that the dimension of the raga will open gradually. Sa re ga ma. Now I have to be very careful. I'm singing bhairo. Sa Asa ne ki हमारे पास हारमोनियम है हमने दबा दिया दा 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 दिस इज नॉट इंडियन सिस्टम एवरी माइक्रोटोन इज इंपॉर्टेंट माइक्रो साउंड इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड आई ऑलवेज से इफ यू आर अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ द्रुपद देर शुड बी फ्यू सेशंस ऑन माइक्रो हियरिंग फर्स्ट यू हैव टू Understand where is the ray? Sa re 
re re re sa this i i'm doing after 50 years of my experience it took me 50 years to just go into this journey of the microtones so this is the value of dhrupad once you start to understand i think it is a lifetime process of growing with the sound and i am sure the new generation have started to understand i really appreciate that i have a huge number of followers who are studying dhrupad i have one from japan already as so many from japan from europe from us and of course in banaras many indians who are who are meticulously following me and rigorously following me so this rigorous practice is very very important there is no shortcut because if you go into shortcuts is the story of success quick success and quick success is superficial pada pada ni sa ni da ni ni da pa ma da pa da ma pa ma ga ma ma ga re sa now i know people will start to clap how many will appreciate ra na ri ra na i can also go into speed nicely meaningful speed ah na 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 ni da ra na ri ra ra na ra na na te da ra ra na ri ra ra ri na ra na ra na na now notice i am not just singing something fast what am i doing i am taking care of every sound i am describing every sound it is so important to describe so rag drishti how is it possible to have rag drishti rag dhyan we have the whole concept of rag dhyan our ancient texts talk about rag dhyan and you see the ragmala pictures here there are maybe some ragmala miniature paintings they are exploring rag dhyan from rag dhyan you have the rag drishti and if you have a good rag drishti you you have rag srishti you can create so the creation is the final process of your lifetime understanding and rigorous practice that goes into your music when we are talking of any genre dhrupad is the oldest genre that we have it's the oldest living tradition today that is why it is very important for the new generation to understand why we should have to understand dhrupad now it is not a matter of just your choice you see when i go to the west i see young people they know everything about their classical culture they talk about baroque they talk about mozart school children i was in england and school children they had a dialogue with me they wanted to know what is the raga system how we evolve in it i was so happy to see a 10 year old boy or a girl asking this question to me yeah. and they have this commitment but i don't see that in the indian school children they they would like to play a guitar or drum and this all this fusion story has created a big lacuna between the tradition and between all the superficial art activity i call it superficial art it is not a natural process of self development that our art used to be i wouldn't say it has to be we shouldn't use the word used to be it has to be and so we have no choice we have no choice it is our moral responsibility and the new generation to see that they imbibe the tradition so 
the best way is to expose them. Yogi Vara Jaya Shiva Yogi Vara Jaya Shiva Raga Yoga Shruti Gyanasha The problem today is that Dhrupad being a very profound system is getting marginalized. How it's getting marginalized? Because people are running after the popular, secular traditions and forgetting the profound tradition. So we have to be aware that what is secular and what is profound. Dhrupad Pele Tapovan Ka Sangeetha. My Guruji used to say it's the music of the Tapovan. The seers practiced it. From Tapovan it came to the temples, more as a spiritual activity, as a prayer. Then from the temple gradually the shift to semi-secular, the Darbar. But also in the Darbar, the, the, the king uh, knew about the regional traditions and they patronized them. So there was very good patronage. And uh, the musicians could really survive because of this patronage. Today we don't have a patronage. I know how my ustads had to struggle. I have seen their days of struggle. And uh, it was very painful and we supported them a lot. But they came out of all this um, nightmare the, after the partition, when the native states were abolished. They were literally on the streets. The, the great masters, the ustads, were, had nothing because the kings had patronized them. So you see, you have to understand the social context also, how the, the present generation has no understanding of what has, what has happened and how they had, they could, said they'd never compromise with the tradition. I have seen my Guruji not compromising. Today, the new generation deviates very easily. And then they think it is, it is uh, we can deviate, we like it, so you know, we, let us do anything in the name of fusion. No, there has to be some borderline. Okay, if you want to do something, a pot puri, make a pot puri. No one is stopping you. But don't confuse it with the Traditional art. Again, when I say traditional, I mean tradition is also very modern because you are innovating all the time. When I sing now, Now this, this goes into the very subtle realm. You can't understand it with a harmonium. You have to understand that microtonal embellishments. Understand those embellishments. How subtle it is. That is the beauty of Dhrupad also. So we have to go through several layers of understanding and the meaning of Dhrupad and then you start to realize, you will start to have the Raga Drishti and music will start from that point. So first, the appreciation, we have to train listeners. We, we need to expose them to the most subtle sounds and to be able to understand and appreciate that. That is how my Guru taught me, I was only 10 years. The first day he gave me uh, Yaman Dagar, it's not easy. And I still teach all my students the same Dagar. See, you can't describe it verbally. You have to sing to understand the beauty. No, it's not just a re. re. Now 
Now here, my journey starts into the Raga. There are several characteristics of the Raga and in the Daga tradition of Drupad, they are all defined, Akar, Dagar, Dhuran, Moran, Lahag, Gamak, Kampit, Andolit, Spurti. They are all defined, all these characteristics. And to be able to sing these characteristics will give the complete canvas of Dagarvani. If you can't do it, just doing some alap and singing some songs is not going to make it Drupad. The deeper understanding of all these concepts, all these finesses is important. So this is how you enter into the Raga. All around the Raga, the Raga is the nucleus. You cannot separate Drupad from Raga, Raga from the Drupad. Because you have to understand Raga through the uh, understand Drupad through the canvas of Raga. Alap and Drupad. Now, why I say Alap? Alap actually is a complete canvas. And if you know good alap, you can also sing a good composition. This is Bhairo. Bhagwan Shankar Dhyan Me Hai. Wo feeling hai. Argi Rishab. It's not just Rishab, not just Ray. Parvati ji comes slowly. He sees Shiva in meditation. She doesn't want to disturb him. So she comes and worships and goes back quietly. That's the feeling. There is Shiva and Shakti. There is that power and also the softness. So you see, if you have to understand Indian art, you have to understand the concept of Ardhanarishwar. You see, they are all concepts, aesthetic concepts. They are not just spiritual forces. Yeah, so what I was saying is like, you can take a phrase from the Alap and you can enrich your Pada also. What is this? If my alaf is not rich in content, how can your song be rich? How, you, how can your song be full of emotion? So, alaf really leads you to entering into the composition, the Dhruva Pada. And that is how you melt, and finally, it is the total nada that gives you that ultimate joy. Jogi 
कड़द विकार नामो चार कड़द विकार यू सी द सेम राग हाउ यू कैन एक्सप्रेस सो मेनी डायमेंशंस दादे ने कद गदे ने दादे ने दादे ने कद गदे ने दादे कड़द विकार नामो चार कड़द विकार कड़द विकार नामो चा कड़द विकार 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 कड़द विकार नामो चार कड़द विकार नामो नाम यो चार नामो चार कड़द विकार नामो चार कड़द विकार नामो चार कड़द विकार Now here you have to describe the song. Cut at the vikar, all the distortions in life, throw it out, all the negativity. Cut at the vikar namo, chaar cut at the vikar namo. Vikar, 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 cut at the vikar namo chaar. Kadatha, by uttering his name, all my negativity ceases to exist. That's the spirit of the song. Kadatha, 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 kadatha. ये उपज है यू कैन जस्ट इंप्रोवाइज जस्ट वन वर्ड सो वॉट इज अलाप आर्ट ऑफ इंप्रोवाइजेशन मेलोडिक एक्सपेंशन रिदमिक इंटेंसिफिकेशन विकार विकार नामो चार उच्चार युचार युचार नाम युचार नामो 
चार नाम ना ना नाम नाम चार नाम नाम यो चार नाम चार नाम 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 चार करत विकार नाम चार करत विकार नाम करत विकार नाम चार करत विकार नाम चार उचार करत विकार 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 नाम चार कट 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 विकार जगदी तो पे जगदी तो पे जगदी तो पे जगदी तो पे सब संसार जगदी तो पे सब संसार धर्मादार विद्या पार राखे चंद्र सूरज तार करत विकार नाम चार करत कर विकार नाम चार नाम नाम उचार नाम 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 चार कट तविकार नाम यो चार कट तविकार नाम चार कट तविकार कट तविकार कट तविकार हे ओ Art for us is genuinely a way of life. We are really happy to be a part of uh, the group and presentation, and I hope we can do some fantastic work uh, more and share a lot more together. And the entrance of KCC, you would see a very beautiful uh, installation called "Disobedience" by Nasya Ikles. Nasya calls it disobedience because she says. Um, The installation, which is kinetic, doesn't obey her, and every time someone walks through it, uh, it disobeys and takes a takes a different shape. For all of us at uh, Imamni and at Kolkata Center for Creativity, disobedience really is about inspiration and the importance of taking that first step forward. The minute we take that first step forward, we find our way, and that's what inspires us every day to do and do a little better. Thank you.